Hey guys, what's going on? This is Aaron Linson, and today we're going to be talking about gravity picks. Are they good, or are they not? Let's find out. Okay guys, first I would like to welcome you to a new channel, to a new focus for this channel. It's going to be a lot on music, hopefully music theory, songs, uh, different equipment that I have here in the studio, um, a lot of that kind of stuff. So I'm really excited to get these new series started. This is actually going to be partially on these Gravity guitar picks. I'm also going to talk about my um, Martin guitar here a little bit. Some of it's really weird shortcomings. Some of it's really great pros. A couple of the stories that I've had with it. And I'm hoping that you're going to get an enjoyment out of this as much as I am making these videos. So this guitar was purchased by me in, I believe, 2000, I want to say 2011, 2012, somewhere around there. So I've had it for quite a while. And it's been a really great guitar. I love this guitar. I love it for its boominess. And videos are not going to do this thing justice. You have to go and try one. This is a Martin custom X series. I cannot find any model number uh, any model number for this. Um, I've talked with my sales engineer from Sweetwater. He doesn't know. I've sent him pictures. He still doesn't know. I've sent him the inside of it. He still doesn't know. Um, but it just sounds awesome. trade from Martin and it's just it's an overall great sounding guitar it will always be with me I will never sell it never give it away never do anything I will get I'd like to get a different guitar uh, in the near future but this one will always be um, up on the wall or something uh, when we move into a actual studio or even um, when me and the wife move into a house this will be going with us obviously and this will be a centerpiece of the studio. Um, it uses phosphor bronze uh, strings so you can't use any of the coated strings which is a big con of it because the coated strings, the coated phosphor bronze strings for so like for Martin the lifespan or the elixir strings uh, I use mediums on here on this uh, guitar. I don't like lights. I hate lights. I hate hard so mediums are the best way to go. They don't really work they make it sound really crappy um, so the phosphor bronze is the best way to go and I just stick with the Martin brand obviously because it's a Martin guitar and I'll just talk about this pick for a few minutes these picks are from a new company called Gravity Picks and they come in all different sizes and all different thicknesses this is a 3.0 thickness maybe even thicker maybe a 2.5 thickness they are really good I really like them but to me once they wear down I've worn this down a little bit I have one on my mandolin and I have one in my um, electric guitar I'll take out the mandolin and I'll let you um, let you guys hear the difference with this one and the other one this one especially for this guitar I'm not saying it is for all guitars but for this guitar I feel like it has sort of a metallic sound to it, and I really don't like that, especially in the higher strings and on the uh, G, B, and D area. Especially if you play on the side here, if you get those ridges into it, those little small cracks, you can really kind of feel the plastic kind of wearing off into it.
This one kind of is. They're great. They do have um, smaller thicknesses and thinner thicknesses. And I think for the electric guitar, I've played it with this pick. And this pick right here just doesn't really do this guitar justice. This pick for the electric guitar is fine because you're running it through an amp or you're running it through uh, an interface. And you're not really, you don't have a acoustic sound to compare it to. One of the um, pros is that you can get get your um, name or your company or whatever engraved in here. So that's really cool that you can do that. They are really a bit pricey. If you want to go the engraving route, that's seventy bucks. If you want to just get the starter pack, which I have, and I've been playing with them for a few months, that's 40 bucks. So you could get more picks, a different variety of picks, for 40 bucks instead of these. But these are really good. These are really, I think, if you like them, and I like them a lot, because for me, I like a harder pick. They're worth it, even though despite the shortcomings, I think if they were able to do something about that, that would be really, really, um, really great. But it still works for me as a um, folk, traditional um, bluegrass artist because you don't want a really thin pick going across the strings. You want a hard attack. <laughs> guitar picks you really just get a really nice a really nice separation between the tones of the guitar the lows and the highs of it and a really good balance and you don't have to really play really hard to get any kind of tone out of it really nice pick and it, it, this the combination of these two just really really complement each other this is actually the second guitar the second model of these this one that I've had I don't know if you can see but right here is where the guitar got met with a glass table and I saw this coming and I kind of imagine this in my head and I just hit the guitar accidentally just right and it got that little scratch. That's not a big deal. But this guitar, I don't know honestly what else to say about it because it's just, it's the epitome of a Martin guitar. For bluegrass players, for folk players, even just for people who uh, finger style pick. has a really nice warm tone to it. It does have acoustics in the back of it, uh, or not acoustics, but electrics in the back of it right in here. The controls are actually inside of the hole, so you have a tone and a volume. This is not necessarily the best. It still sounds like, obviously, like a lot of pickups inside guitars. It sounds like a box of wood with strings on it. I would recommend the TC Helicon Play Acoustic, which I'll put a picture of. That just 
blows everything away. I'm really, really, really impressed with that system. I really not really don't have anything bad to say about it and I really want to make a video on that and I think that's the next big production here that I'm going to do with that is show you how good that system is and what you can do with it because it's just it's just awesome and it makes this thing and it would make any guitar just sound better than it already does this is a I believe this is a $600 guitar it makes that thing, this thing sound more worth the bucks that I paid for it. It sounds like a $12,000 or even a $35,000 guitar in my opinion. So I'm really pleased with this guitar. It's beautiful. I play it every single day. I'm really pleased with the gravity picks. Although, I would like for them to improve on the longevity of them because they do wear out a lot. The thickness is great. I love the thickness. And I probably will buy from them again just because I love their products. I love how thick these are. And I'm just a thick nut. Stop it. Don't, don't even. Don't, don't think it. In general, with when it comes to... <laughs> when it comes to guitar picks. So I really like these. They even have thicker ones. I have not tried those, but I think this is a, I'll put the correct, um, the correct thickness, but I believe this is a 3.0 millimeter or 2.5 millimeter thickness on these picks. But I, again, I will put that on here in this video. I'll put a link to where you can get these guitar picks. You can get them from Sweetwater or you can get them from their website. I would highly recommend Sweetwater. Sweetwater is just a really great company to get your gear and your instruments from. They're really reputable. I've never had a problem with them. When I have had an issue, I've called them up. They've gotten things quick, quickly to me that I've needed. I, when I bought my Epiphone Les Paul guitar, there was a string that had come, the top E string had come broken off. They sent me two packs of strings right away. I got them the next day. Everything was good to go. So I didn't really have to wait that long to play that guitar. Really impressed with their service. And again, I'll link them down below in the description where you can get these guitar picks and you can go and get gravity, gravity picks from the original website as well. But again, I highly recommend Sweetboard. I cannot say enough good things about them. I got about every single piece of my equipment from them, including my Focusrite 18i20 interface, the PreSonus fader port that I have, my Jack Cassidy bass, my Epiphone Les Paul, I didn't get this Martin or the MRDO BX5 monitors from them, but I'm going to get some new monitors from them. And I probably may get my other guitar, my new guitar from them, so we'll see. Um, but it's a really great company. Really, again, highly check them out. As you guys can see, this is my Ibanez mandolin. <laughs> it's a great mandolin. I, I love this thing. Again, I play this this one too every single day. And I do have a gravity pick with this mandolin. Like I said, I have played this mandolin with the other guitar pick, with the other gravity guitar pick that I have here. These two picks seem to be different. Um, this pick that I use on the guitar seems to have a little bit more tack and a little bit more rustic sounding feel to it. mandolin is a little bit thinner I can tell that in the feel but it still is enough to get this thing to sing out And 
it just has a little bit more brighter feel to it. And that goes for the same thing. When we're talking about the Martin guitar with this particular pick because it just has a lot more bright brighter sound to it whereas this pick right here has a darker sound, which is not a bad thing, it just depends on what you want. And so it just depends on the feel, what you're going for. I tend to enjoy this pick for this guitar because it brings out a lot of the low end. It also takes care of the high end, and with strumming, it just seems to work really, really well. This pick for this mandolin, or with this mandolin, just seems to bring out the brightness and the tone of this instrument. No matter where you slice it, how you slice it, or what you're doing with it. seems to work really great with this instrument. It seems to bring out all the tones in more. And there's hidden secrets that I think that this mandolin has with this pick that have not been discovered yet. It's just a great sounding instrument, a great sounding pick. Again, go check them out. Links down in the video description. Comment, rate, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.